All right, how can we get our picker uh, logic back with our new class system? Uh, so let's get rid of this stuff and uh, go back down to where we were here with our picker. So the picker stuff is going to remain mostly the same, uh, but we just need to you know, move this type stuff, creating this new circle inside of where we had it here. So we can say something like that. Uh, eventually, though, we also want to render it. So we could also call that here. We could say circles.render, and everything would be fine. Um, in fact, we could just do that right now, and everything would work great. But um, it might be better to collect all of these things that we're creating into an array so that we can have a little collection. Again, like thinking bigger picture here, basically in plain English, we want to be able to say, go to this location, draw a crystal. Go to this location, draw a crystal, right? So a crystal will contain several layers and we can encapsulate those layers or we can combine them into a single variable, which we can call layers, just to keep it nice and tidy. So every crystal will eventually contain multiple layers. It may have two, it may have six, and it'll be good to put all of those in one place is what I'm trying to say. So how do you add something to an array in JavaScript? You push it on there, right? So what we really want to do inside of each one of these is layers.push a new circles object. And then we'll render them in a little bit. So that's all we want to do right now. So we can do the same here for simple lines. We can say lay oh geez, layers.push new simple lines. And same for outline shape, layers.push new outline shape. And then at the end of this, let's see what we have in layers. Awesome. So we got two because of uh, our random stuff. We never know what we're going to get. We got an outline shape in circles, outline shape circles, just circles, nothing, all three. So stuff is working out here. So you can start to see how this describes a crystal. It might, hint, hint, become its own class one day. So now what's left is just to render this stuff. And that's pretty easy. We can say layers dot for each, and that will loop through our layers array. And for each layer in that array, we want to render it. Layer is not defined. You're right. Great, so now we're back. So we didn't add any new functionality. What, the only thing we've done is refactored our code to include classes, object-oriented pr uh, programming techniques, etc. So we can get rid of this stuff. And we're back to where we were. So now I think the best thing to do is to add some more kinds of layers on here, but we're gonna do that uh, within the layer system that we've created here by creating new classes that extend our base class layer.